Yo guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are back on the FIFA 21 Wayne Rooney Derby County career mode and we've got three massive, massive fixtures for you guys here today including the next round of the FA Cup which we have progressed to thankfully after a quality, quality game last time out and we've got two massive, massive Premier League games as we look to survive relegation in our first season back in the Premier League and as you can see on the right and side we have got a massive a massive home game against the team above us by one point Norwich City and West Brom have got a home game against Liverpool which means hopefully results go our way today and we could end today one point away from safety of course we don't know what's going to happen in the game after that but you know we're looking good we're looking good we're we're not as far back as it might seem at the moment but also let me know down below are you guys enjoying this series because i know i'm a bit stop start with the career mode content on the channel but don't worry i'm going to try finish season two as quick as i can i do feel like i've jagged this out a little bit but let me know down below smash that like button if you enjoy so i do I can tell if you guys enjoy the content or not because that will help me decide how frequent I can upload this for you guys. But without further ado, like I mentioned, smash that like button if you enjoy, subscribe if you're new and hit the bell to start today. I have all future uploads and live streams, which I'm, I'm enjoying again. I'm starting to get a lot more live streams up lately. I think I've now done three in the past week and I will be doing one tonight. You should be watching this on the Wednesday. Wednesday night I will be live streaming, so hopefully I can see a couple of your faces there tonight. But without further ado, let's check out the rest of today's fixtures so then guys here are the fixtures in today's episode as you have already seen we have got a massive must win game against Norwich City to kick start the episode that is literally must must win like I said they're currently one point ahead of us but if we win this game we go one point behind uh, West Brom which is absolutely insane they of course are facing Liverpool so let's hope there's no surprises there and then we've got our next round in the FA Cup after going through a two-legged tie against Wolves in the first round we are now at home against Burnley it's definitely a winnable fixture and if we can go through to the next round once again that'll be absolutely fantastic to see and then to end the episode we are off to the Molyneux Stadium to face a decent Wolves team looking to get revenge after their early elimination from the FA Cup and then of course transfer deadline day is upon us hopefully it's a decent little episode of course as you saw from the last time that apart from that FA Cup win against Wolves a 4-0 drumming by the hands of City and a 0-0 draw against bottom place Bournemouth it's not what you want to see boys hopefully we can do much much better hopefully three wins out of three in today's episode without further ado let's check out the 11s to go at it in this massive game against Norwich so then guys here are the 11s as you know both of these teams were promoted last season into the Premier League and they're going at it once again in the top flight it's a decent Norwich side they got some okay players uh, Sam Byron at a right back uh Hanley, I guess, Tribal, Thompson, Steeperman, Hugo, Dow, Sorensen, Tim Krul in goal. It's not a bad team. I would definitely think we've got the better of the 11s, but we have, of course, gone for a rotated 11, including Jack Murray up top, Azevedo, a 16 year old um, in the Premier League once again. We've got Sibley, of course, if you missed the previous episode. Mateus Pereira has been injured for the rest of the season. Massive, massive blow. Shinny and Bird in that midfield, too. Brian, Mengi and Malone coming into the 11 and Buffon and Timbo making up the rest of that back line. Hopefully, like I said, we can get a win here. This is a must, must win game. No slip ups are available. Let's get it, lads. Right then, guys, here we go under the floodlights. Derby County hosting Norwich City, in which I keep reiterating, this is a must, must win. A proper, proper relegation six-pointer. Both teams need the win here. There is one point separating them in the 18th and 19th position. And if Norwich win this, I do believe they go out of the relegation zone. If we win this, we go one point from safety. Of course, that is going under the impression that West Brom do, in fact, lose to Liverpool, which you would expect to happen. But crazier things have happened as you can see however we have already conceded 62 goals at oh that's terrible boys that is what we definitely need to improve on we have gone for a rotated back line so it's not good signs but hopefully the attack up front can get the goals Wayne Rooney's men charging on Sibley in terms of Jack Marriott back into Sibley Marriott come on now keep this alive keep this alive it's Sibley go on Louis goes back into Ive finds Marriott 
manages to just about squeeze it past Tim Krull and it is 1-0 advantage to Derby County. What a big goal that could be from Super Jack Marriott. Absolutely insane. I thought he just missed it then, but it just creeps in. Off the post, past Tim Krull. He had no chance. Gorgeous possession football there. Just about into the side net ends. Great finish, and it is a great start for Wayne Rooney's men. Here's Louis Sibley. Finds Jack Marriott, of course, the goal scorer early on. Still got the ball there. They're playing advantage. Come on, Shinny. Skipper into Sibley. Come on. Back into Marriott. Go for a finesse. Outside the box. Straight into the hands of Tim Krull. It was a tamed shot in the end. He would want to do better from there. Unfortunately, he did not. Come on. Ah, oh, that's a big chance here for Norwich City. That one pass just slices through our defence. And look at the space. And he finds the bottom corner. And just before the half-time whistle, five minutes to play. They level it all square. Heartbreaking. That, that's literally their first chance on goal. Let alone first shot on target. That is the first time they've even been in our attacking area. We've dominated this game, but they have taken their chance. And it is all level. Oh my god. Why do they have so much space again? Where are our defenders? Where are our defenders? If they get their second goal from their second time in our box. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. If they score a second after literally only going in our area three times. I'm going to be fuming. What a tackle. And there she have. They have literally not been in our final third. The whole game. They got in there twice in the last five minutes and scored them both. And now Norwich City, the Canaries, are leading. Completely against the runner play. What's this? As we kick off the second half, I did mention they've literally done nothing the whole game. They got those last two chances in the last five minutes of the first half and they took them both. I guess it's clinical at the end of the day, but they have literally done nothing the whole half. Absolute joke. No, don't you dare. Love that. Come on now, Sibley. Come on. Keep running, Marriott. No! Uh, again. Keep going, though. Second by the cherry. Here's Jack Marriott. Super Jack Marriott. What was that shot? Are you joking me? As we hit the hour mark, we are taking off Super Jack Marriott and Louis Sibley for Jason Knight and Ahmad Diallo. I, they've done all right, but we just need to change. We can't lose this game. This is a massive, massive game, boys. We really can't. Hello. Hello, here's... Oh, ref, that's never a foul. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. No, look at the space about to open up for him here. Love that. Come on, Timbo. Shinny. Here's Jordan Ive. Come on, Ahmad, start running, start running, start running, start running, Ahmad. Start running, Ahmad. Here he is, off the bench, in the last minute of the game, Ahmad! Round the keeper, he scores! Levels it in the last minute. And how precious of a point could that be? Keeping Norwich within touching distance of us. And last time I saw West Brom actually were well, 2-0 down. So unless they pulled up some miraculous comeback, we are now only three points from safety. Yes, that three points would have been a massive. But if we lost to Norwich then, they would have completely gone past us and we would have stayed four points from safety. That is a massive, massive goal from the super sub himself, Ahmad Diallo. Come on, my son. And it's full time whistle. Right then, guys, here we go back in the FA Cup after a last-minute equaliser against Norwich. A massive, massive point. Listen, I said before the game, it's a must-win for both teams. However, the fact we pre prevented them from winning and we got that point... There's more positives than negatives, I guess. We're now only three points from safety. So just by pure facts, we go from four points to three points. So that is progression, I guess. But now we are back in the FA Cup for round number four. Our second round against Burnley. A very, very 
interesting Burnley they've got some decent players of course they got McNeil on the left they got Lala I believe the Frenchman on the right back they got Goodsmanson could cause us problems and of course super Nick Pope in goal we of course have gone for a bit of a stronger 11 than that game against Norwich you got Lamptey back in the side Josviat Buckingham Bielik uh, Jefferson Lerma we've got Benny in there and we got Davies at the centre back position and Ahmad Diallo is starting up top ahead of of uh, Marriott. Hopefully, this is enough to go through to the next round of the FA Cup. Listen, I said that at the start. I had, do not expect us to win this competition whatsoever. But the further we go in there, firstly, you never know what can happen. And secondly, I love the FA Cup and I just want to go on a bit of a cup journey. The magic of the cup hopefully lives on here today. Let's get it, boys. And we're off. What a game we have got here today. Derby County versus Sean Dyche's Burnley. Very big game for both teams. I don't think either team have any real expectations of winning the thing. However, the longer they stay in it, the less teams they have to come up against. And who knows? Any certain team can win on any certain day. The magic of the cup has brought up crazy up things happening. Like Wigan Athletic beating Manchester City in um, the cup final a couple years back. So this is not a good start at all though. Big save from Buffon. Hopefully Derby County can have their own Wigan moment here today. But dodgy start there. Come on now. What a start this could be if we push you forward. Here's a mad Dialo. Of course the saviour in the last game. Dialo goes to a shot and Dialo scores. I was just telling you how it was a dodgy start after a decent save from Buffon and we got up the other end. And a mad Dialo being dropped in the last game for fitness reasons gets a goal off the bench and now he starts this FA Cup game with a gorgeous finish into the bottom corner what a start we went 1-0 up against Norwich though so let's get a second boys love that defending boys come on brick wall at the back there love that it's Sibley finds the mad Sibley into Benny maybe over the top trying to find that run there he has done gorgeous pass into Jason there come on can we get a second goal here and what a second goal it could be goes into Jefferson Lerma goes for a straightaway shot can't quite make anything of it and that is very very unfortunate oh no here's Goodmanson here's Goodmanson a big chance here for Burnley if they can get a ball in here potentially he hasn't done Bielik the big Polishman has stopped him right in his tracks here's Benny now finds Louis Sibley Plays it through into Ahmad. Come on, he's got a chance here. Ahmad, a massive opportunity to double our lead. And he has done into the same corner, but this time the top corner of the net. 2-0 just over the half an hour mark. And Ahmad, in his return to the start of 11, has just got a brace for Wayne Rooney's men. And is that potentially game over? You know what our defensive record has been like this season. Anything can happen here, so let's keep going, boys. Let's keep going. Just before half-time, Burnley on a bit of an attack here. Goes out wide, very interesting. Here's McNeil. Big chance here for Burnley to half the deficit just before the half-time whistle. McNeil's on it, cuts it back into Brownhill. Is that attack over? We're pushing him wide here. Oh no, he's turned him. Brownhill's on the ball. He puts it in the middle, Goodmanson. Brownhill again, and it's a big save from Buffon, but it's back at him. And another massive save from Buffon, this time to prevent McNeil from getting the goal. And after playing an extra five minutes after the ref said he's adding one, the half's still going. Park clear the ball and they've scored. It is now 2-1 to Derby County. However, look at the time. We are just about to hit the sixth minute of added time after the ref said he's adding one. I'm not going to say that's a fix, but that's a fix, boys. <laughs> We're still in the lead, but I feel like we've been robbed a bit there, boys. Sibley here's Diallo maybe back into Louis Sibley to put the game to bed Louis Sibley it's a huge save from Nick Pope we're going to bring Jack Murray on for the final half an hour ahead of Diallo purely for stamina reasons we've got a massive game against Wolves in the Prem so Murray will come on but what a chance for Louis Sibley oh no here's Goodmanson massive chance here Bielik he's got to commit but that leaves a lot of space open in the middle and he's found that space no, 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 no. Come on now. No, it's a big chance and he scores. Jordan Ibe's coming on now, but is now all level. Jay Rodriguez levels it for Burnley after being 2-0 down. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Terrible defending there. I thought we did enough. But he just about gets it over the hand of Buffon and it's all square. Sean Dyche's men are level. 
tackle. Bielik with a huge tackle there. Fantastic tackle. Now here's the chance here. Sibley. Come on. Maybe make that run. Make that run. He has done. He's Buckingham. He's Buckingham. Come on now. Drill one across into Marriott. And he scores. Fantastic tackle from Bielik. Leading into a fantastic ball out wide into Buckingham. And a fantastic cross. Taps it home from Super Jack Marriott. And off the bench. Manages to put us back into the lead. And it is 3-2 to Wayne Rooney's men. Advantage to Derby once again. It's one of the more easier goals he'll ever score. But it's just as important as any one he has ever managed to get before now. Sean Dyche is gutted. Here's Super Jack Marriott. Come on now. Come on now. Back into Josviat. Come on. Here is Josviat. Can he do anything here? Come on. Maybe trying to whip one into Jefferson Lerma. He can't. Five minutes to go. The next goal could be massive if there is one. And it looks like there potentially could be Martin versus Davies. There's no chance. Buffon, get back. Buffon, huge save from Buffon. But he's still straight back out to him. Bielik that time of a huge challenge. But they still got the ball. Big chance for Bernie's men. What has just happened? Lerma gets there. They're still on the ball. Bielik. There we go. Just managed to clean, clear it somehow. Two minutes to go. Marriott. Josviak. No, he's lost the ball. And Burnley potentially one last roll of the dice here. Goes through the middle. Lerma slides. He can't quite get there. And it's full time. Wayne Rooney's men. The crowd go absolutely mental in my ear. Wayne Rooney's men are through to the next round of the FA Cup. Listen, we're not going to win it. But what if we could? What if we could, boys? Wayne Rooney's men go marching on. Jack Marriott off the bench of the winner. But Mad Diallo setting up the game with two first half goals. Come on, boys. And here we go. The final of the three games in today's episode. So far undefeated, of course. A big draw from an Mad goal in the last minute against a very level with us let's say Norwich City team and now we have got a massive game away from home against Wolves a team that we recently knocked out in our first round of the FA Cup and now of course we did just beat Burnley so massive massive scenes but Wolves will be out for revenge the Wolves taste blood and we have got our strongest possible 11 out for the first time in today's episode it's a big one boys potentially able to go level with the 17th place team and hopefully on our way to safety Let's get it, boys. Come on. Right, boys, I have got some really, really bad news. I've just finished recording the Derby County versus Wolves game. I go to stop the recording, and apparently the recording is, like, corrupted or something. So, that final game was not actually captured on video. I'm actually heartbroken, but I'll give you an in-depth thing about what happened here. So, what happened was, Wolves go one then up around the 15th minute. We managed to level it around the half an hour mark by an mad goal. Very nice bit of play in the midfield, and he slots it home past Patricia. Uh, we had a close couple calls just before the halftime. Mark Lerma went for a volley. It was a good hit and it was a good save from Patricio. But in the 85th minute, a mad dialo gets a cross in from Lamptey. He goes for a shot. It bounces into the Wolves defender's foot and it goes over Patricio's head. So we do manage to come away with a 2-1 win on the road. As you can see there on the right-hand side of your screen. I am so, so sorry that the footage was not captured. I'm actually gutted. It was a quality game. But it was a win all that matters we are now level on points with West Brom our goal difference is not as good as theirs let's say we're six behind them which is not ideal our, apart from Bournemouth I believe the worst goal difference in the league 32 yeah we've got the worst goal difference in the league apart from Bournemouth who are still yet to pick up their first victory as we head into February but that is where we're going to end today's episode hopefully you guys enjoyed smash that like button that has definitely been one of the more successful episodes in a while we of course got through to the fifth round of the FA Cup which I'm absolutely buzzing for could you imagine if Wayne Rooney and his men lifted that trophy come at the end of the season I don't think that'll happen but that would be absolutely Absolutely insane. So, we are now level on points of West Brom, yeah? Just for future reference, if it came down to it, guys, what do you guys value more? Premier League or the FA Cup? If it came to the last game of the season and we had one game and they were both day after day, would you rather me put all the best team in for the 
Premier League? Or would you rather pull it in for the FA Cup final? Let me know down below, guys, what you think. Just for future reference. Like, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm going to prioritise one of them. I'm just saying for future reference. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you tomorrow for another video. And I'm peace.